Guys, we did it. Guys, we did it. We actually did it. I I got home like 20 minutes ago from working out. I was sitting here planning on having a normal day and then boom, Tom Pelissero comes in with it. Boom, Adam Schefter comes in with it. Pete Carroll's gone. Multiple sources. Pete Carroll is out as the Seattle Seahawks head coach. Could still remain in the organization, per Schefter and Pelissero. They both said that. But he's not the head coach anymore. Guys, I I had given up hope. I had zero belief that this was a realistic possibility. I didn't think for one second that there was any room at this point I thought that if he was going to get let go it would have happened on 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 Monday or maybe even Tuesday I had just kind of resigned myself to another year of of Pete Carroll and I was just prepared to live with it because whatever we're going to have new ownership soon blah 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 it's over (laughs) guys I I don't know what to say I am I mean I don't want to say I'm thrilled but there is no doubt in my mind this is the right decision to make. I am very, very happy with the decisions that the team has made today. I know they were not easy decisions. I know that a lot of people are going to have reservations about this. I know a lot of people are going to wonder where we go from here, what happens next. I know that there are going to be some concerns. I know people are going to definitely say, well, who are we going to go get now? So we're going to get somebody who's even worse. We're going to get somebody who who uh, will be incompetent. Sorry, guys, I'm just all over the place right now. I'm a little bit... I'm, I'm just shocked. I did not think this was a realistic possibility. Um, I'm glad that what happened in Week 18 didn't change or influence the decision, which I, I did say that there's no way that this team would allow something like a Week 18 win that's ultimately meaningless to, to affect anything. But... Um, I, I didn't believe it was going to go this way. I thought it was going to go the other way. I thought he was going to stay no matter what. Instead, I guess he was going to go no matter what. So, Pete Carroll, I, I, I guys, we're, we're going to have to do something. We're going to have to do some kind of a stream. I'm probably going to have an emergency show with the Hawks Nest. I'm probably going to have to do some kind of, uh, we're going to have to do something. We're going to have to do call-in show. We're going to have to... I mean, I don't want to throw a party because the guy lost his job and it, it's not like I am necessarily sitting here with a lot of resentment at the moment towards Pete Carroll because it seems like he's at least leaving with his head held up. But still, man, I, 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 don't, I don't know what I can feel right now. The only thing I can feel right now is excitement, hope, optimism, a belief that Things can be better now. A belief that things can actually start truly headed in, heading in the right direction. Um, Carol remaining in the organization, I, I don't really have a strong opinion on that. He can stay in the organization and still not really do anything. It could be like a George Lucas thing when he was um, a, a consultant for Disney when they bought Star Wars. But he had no say in anything. It could be like that. So I don't care if he wants to ha- take some meaningless position in the organization and have no real say or power but in terms of him having say in terms of him having power I'm not necessarily a fan of that I'd like to just completely move on because I don't think he has much of anything to offer at this point but regardless guys this is one of the biggest days in Seahawks franchise history and there's going to be so much more to say in the coming days But for right now, I'm just going to leave it with this. Pete Carroll has been let go. He is out as head coach of the Seahawks per multiple sources. And all there is to say right now is that I believe there now exists a possibility of things getting better for this organization. Things truly becoming great again. Not just good, not just okay, but great. All right, um, I'm, I'm all over the place right now. I'm going to have to gather my thoughts and make some longer videos about this one. But we're, we're back on the head coaching carousel. Hopefully we hop off with a better one than we had. And straight up, I hope we land a great head coach the next 
McVeigh, the next Shanahan. But I don't think it would be that hard to top what we had with Pete Carroll. See you guys later. Go Hawks. I'm not going to say it's a great day because a guy lost his job. A guy lost his livelihood. And there's always something a little bit sour about that. But it's the right thing to do. Thank you, Jody. Thank you, everybody who was involved in this decision. I know it wasn't Pete Carroll walking away. We know that much because we heard the man speak lately. So somebody made this decision above Pete Carroll. And that person needs to get a handshake and a high five right now. All right. See you guys later. Go Hawks. More videos later.